Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Hazy Simmer, and today I have another episode of the Crybaby Whims Challenge. Hope you guys are ready for some drama. We finally got Ivory down here in the chair. We're going to give her some baby food. I think I think since it's winter fast, I want to give her something that kind of goes with that. So we're going to do sweet potatoes. So we'll see if she likes the sweet potatoes. Um, it looks like she's thinking about it. Oh my goodness. She is playing with it. Looks like everyone is having a good time, though. I just noticed that... All right, so we're all... Oh, there's one of the babies. This is her baby. I think they need to be toddlers already. Okay, so they brought Landon over to the Winterfest celebration. All right, so the family's going to sit down and eat their ham, winter ham. It looks like everyone's really happy. Dr. Bradford must be running late. He could also be at the other apartment checking out. Um, oh, there he is. I thought he was running. I thought Dr. Bradford was running late. But it looks like everyone is here. Marigold and Nico are going to thank everyone for showing up. Helena is asking Belle how has everything been since the fire. And she's... so. Nico went from being happy to have a child to feeling neutral about having a child. That's really sad, but maybe that they're kind of talking about would they expand the family. And I think Nico is like wanting to focus on the career right now because look at what a handful sweet baby is. I think Nico's going to have to go give her a bath while we do presents because we are just like, she's really messy. Maybe we can just clean her up if that will work. But yeah, they're kind of asking Marigold and Nico, do they plan on having another child? Because it is, uh, because Ivory is almost one by this point. And it looks like Jace is kind of flirting with giving Marigold like a little wink. And um, yeah, he's trying not to get caught flirting with her in front of the whole family and her husband. But he's feeling really bold. Did she get clean? Oh, she did get clean, yay. Okay, so we have a clean baby. We're going to mop this up, and then we're going to call everyone over here for presents. We're going to actually light the tree together. Light the tree with the family. You know, from the outside, it looks like everyone is having, you know, a great winter's fest. Peeking through their windows. Like, the looking into the dollhouse. Everybody is getting along. This is probably the first time in a long time everyone has had a safe environment. Can we not put the presents down? So the family is exchanging gifts. Mary Gold is on her way to give Jace his gift. And after reading their journals together, Jace gave, uh, Mary Gold gave Jace a gift that was very symbolic of their relationship that they used to have and it was also had a photo that she found in her journal so father winter has showed up but everybody is now finally opening their gifts and nico is taking family photos to remember the moment i actually do want nico to do that he got a hungry like the duck i wanted to be good about taking photos in this series but i don't think i did unfortunately or at least not in the start, but I guess we can pick up now. Everyone's pretty happy with their Winterfest gifts. I'm trying to see what would make a good picture. Everyone is taking pictures and making memories. Oh, I love this. Nico is seriously the perfect guy. And Jace and Marigold are also taking some photos. They're kind of just all taking photos. Marigold is going to ask Jace if he had a good Winterfest and if he got everything he wanted for Christmas and if he got everything he wanted for Winterfest. Looks like Helena and Dr. Bradford are kissing. Oh, she finally brought over Cammy. So it's the middle of the night right after Winterfest. Marigold was outside of their house just walking Lily and Jace came outside to talk to Marigold because he really just can't wait any longer to tell her all about what happened to Dr. Bradford murdering Landon and using medication to brainwash Marigold. He just wants to tell her the truth. 
he just wanted to tell her, you know, everything that happened from his perspective, mind you, he has done some kind of shady stuff. He's done some kind of shady stuff, but at the end of the day, at this point, you know, even though he is technically one of Dr. Bradford's willing dolls, he uh, has just kind of cracked underneath the uh, fake life. And in a heat of moment, he tells Marigold everything that happened since, you know, he got out of high school and about the prom, the kiss with Belle and the pregnancy with the twins. And in a moment of passion, they kind of woohoo for the first time on the beach. And yeah, they've officially started their affair. Marigold is in utter shock that her father wiped away her memory. She loves her husband. She loves her daughter. But at the same time, this is like a piece of her that she had no idea that was missing. And Jace is feeling pretty good about himself. Um... You know, because he finally has Marigold as much as he can have her. And after they woohooed for the first time, he says it doesn't feel right. Um, Maybe she isn't his soulmate. It just feels weird. So that's very interesting. He's also, okay, so he's also tipsy. He's juiced up. And they did not use protection, but it was really good. Woohoo. And yeah, he's very happy. She also feels bad about cheating as well, but she's very excited, you know, that Jace is into her and she's feeling really good about herself. So I think, you know, she's going to tell him we can't do this again, but I'm kind of, you know, she, I feel like Mary Gold immediately does have regrets, even though she feels like, She's finally given into these feelings that she's been like suppressing. And they're obviously like super passionate about each other, but she's like, you know, we can't do this again. I can't, you know, lose my husband. Mary Gold essentially tells him, you know, I can't lose my husband. I, you know, have a good life here. I have my daughter. You know, I think we just had all this built up passion. Like she is thinking, even though she has cheated on her husband officially she is still thinking more clearly and less she's thinking more clearly in the sense where she's not being manipulated by drugs and therapy like hypnotherapy from her father but at the same time she's never really had free will since puberty so she is kind of making these very juvenile mistakes and acting in passion instead of with logic so she's kind of like trying to backtrack although she does seem like she's she does seem like she's reminiscing positively about their experience, but I think they just kind of had a release that they have been denied for so long. And who knows, they probably, even though he was going to propose to her whenever they were in high school, he might not, like, they might not have gotten married. So I'm going to have her take... I'm going to have her get Ivory all cleaned up, and then we're going to have her take a pregnancy test after she puts Ivory to bed. Don't drink out of the toilet, doggy. Marigold does enjoy being a mother, and she enjoys motherhood and being a housewife. That's something she was kind of trained for. She's lost all desire to, you know, be in politics or journalism, which is something she used to be interested in. But right now, you know, she kind of is getting spoiled in life when it comes to her perfect husband and now you know she has the secret affair where she is express where she is expressing her passions and things she was denied for so long so she is you know she's getting a little bad and corrupt but at the same time she has been a victim so she's going to kind of make these mistakes until she can figure out who she wants to be so we're kind of on that journey with her that doesn't make her a bad mom. It does make her a bad wife and partner. And, um, you know, hopefully she can redeem herself in some way or at least be honest and move past it and tell Nico everything that's, you know, going on. As we know, Nico already has, like, 
an uncomfortability with Dr. Bradford. So I wonder, you know, how he would kind of take that news. But again, I don't know if she's going to tell her or not, tell him or not. It just depends on, it depends on her, how Mary Gold is feeling, if she's going to tell him. But it looks like Nico has come in here to check on Mary Gold. And he, oh, so Nico feels like he's got unfulfilled dreams in life. And he feels very desirable about Marigold. So they have a lot going on. So Marigold is taking a pregnancy test and we'll find out in a minute if she's pregnant. <gasps> what? Is this just like an automatic reaction from the mod? I don't know if this is an automatic reaction oh. from the mod or not. You guys, Marigold is pregnant and it is not Nico's baby. So she, we've completed this next step of the challenge. She is now pregnant with Jace's baby. So she's now pregnant with Jace's baby. Mind you, she is married. So there is no reason as to why Nico wouldn't think it's his kid. So in the morning, she's going to have to tell Nico that she's pregnant. We need to put Ivory to bed because Ivory is making a mess. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this episode right here and I will check in and I will see you guys in the next one where we explore this pregnancy and this cheating affair and see to see, and we'll see if Marigold gets caught up sooner rather than later. And what does that look like? <laughs>